Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. It starts with d4. Bishop comes out on f4 first and then play pawn forward maybe. Yep, e3. Get the knight out. Then offer bishop exchange maybe if my opponent offers that, which doesn't happen. So we should not be bothered about that. Let's see if opponent does take or not. All goes back. Ah, knight comes ahead and said, what if I go here? I lose the knight because queen takes. Um, pawn forward is again weak. So I should consider playing a simple move like c3 first. Okay, now I can probably double up on this diagonal. Pawn forward, preparing to play that as well. Oh, I don't need to now. This would take his bishop out of this game. If or wherever he goes, I can take. And some point of time I have to take the knight as well. Okay, I'll take this first. And then I can probably get my bishop here, trying to eye this diagonal. Open can come here. I cannot take. Okay, I'll take this first. If open takes with the knight, I get to take the free pawn. But then I can trap my bishop as well there. Yep, that's what the open does calculate. And that's why plays the knight instead. I also get my knight active, trying to exchange. If my opponent doesn't take now, he loses a pawn. So he has to take. Okay. Offering bishop exchange, he gets to take with the pawn or the queen. Uh, me going back also doesn't make sense, I'll take. I have this pawn forward. Can it be helpful? I doubt. Let's castle on the queen side. And so does my opponent maybe. Does he? Let's see. Yes, he does. That's the right move. Okay, I can play this or I can play this. I think I should go for the attacking option. Where does the rook go? Maybe here. Yes, trying to double up with the rooks, and so will I. Oh, place pawn forward so that the rook is always guarded. Can I go for a pawn break? I'm sure I can. Can take, I take back. Doubles up, so I should as well. Or I can take first, um, let's double up. Let's play solid. Can take, can proceed. Both of them look fine. Um, I should take. I'll get my queen here, maybe, defending the pawns. This looks like a draw to me. <laughs> Unless somebody does a blunder, that can be me also. I have to get my queen here so that I'm attacking a pawn. Uh, my king is on the wrong diagonal. I have to just move my king as well, maybe.
this defense as well. Um, if I really want to play that, that can be troublesome too. Okay, let's sidestep with the king first. Pawn forward, okay. I can take here. He takes with the rook mostly. And what do I do? I go back. Yes, I do. Huh, rook in front of the queen, then take on the pawn maybe, double up as well if required. But I have to go with this rook first, of course, otherwise queen takes. These small mistakes can happen anytime in chess, so always be aware. Pawn forward doesn't work, he has this rook as well, so there will be no pawn break. I have to be careful about that as well. Trying to pressurize on to take an extra pawn there. And so will I maybe. Uh, but I think he will get extra pawns more than me. What can I do here? What is the right move? I spawn forward. Yes, I, I discussed he can take. Oh, wait a second. His rook is hanging. What am I calculating? That's a free rook. I spotted that so damn late. That is not going to help him. Because now comes the other rook. And then comes the rook defending the pawn. Then I'll not give him anything. I took a lot of time to spot that. Maybe I was thinking too much. Which can always be the case if you're not up to everything. Let's defend the pawn for now. Then go and exchange the rooks maybe. Or I can go here, take the pawn. But my opponent also does take here and I don't want to take risk of him entering my space. So let's exchange rooks. That's a forced rook exchange now. There's no option. Ah, oh, he can probably try to pin. Oh yes, indeed. And I can try to remove the pin. Now I'm safeguarding everything. Now there's it's a forced exchange. Check doesn't work because he gets to move aside i don't want to play moves which maybe i can then again give a check and trade off queens yeah that also works but he'll take here and i will as well with the pawn so that both the pawns stay in front of each other i'm rook up i should win this comfortable then time wise also we are okay yeah, dirty flagging can be a problem, but I hope it's not. Takes with the pawn mostly. Yep, and I'll go give a check. Goes up, no other option, and then I trade off the queens. How is rook here actually? Uh, rook gives a check, he goes up, I give a check. Let's try. Yeah, why not? Everything else is solid and safe. Only way is this. And then I give another check. Go the side. Okay, I couldn't exchange there, but it's okay. I'll double up. And I'll take the pawn and then I'll mate him pretty soon. Oh gosh. That should be it. Queen can try and enter, give a check. Oh, that can be a mate. That can be one hell of a mate. If I'm not careful. If I am, then there's nothing bothering me there. There's no time actually for my opponent to think all that and maybe I'm too close to his king. So this will never work out. 
that's the best chance he could have taken. I think he'll try to lose on time than being checkmated. Yep, that's all. That could lead him to a temporary ban as well. He should have resigned. Anyways, that was a simple game, I would say. Once I got the free rook, till then it looked like a dead draw. Heading a dead draw, side of a d4, d5, and then bishop f4, bishop f5. Pawn to e6 by our opponent after I played e3, and then I went with knight f3. Opponent develops the knight 2. I offer bishop exchange, which he denies by placing his knight on e4. And then I go with c3, and then opponent develops the bishop on e7. I get my queen on c2. And then just play pawn forward h3 so that I can push my pawns forward. Here my opponent develops the knight on f6. I go with knight on h4. What is the threat? Oh, he can take here. And I have to take here with the king. Otherwise, if I'm careless, I take this. He gets to have an extra pawn. And his bishop is pretty active. And that can lead to a lot of troubles. So instead, if your opponent does take here with the knight in the next move, take with the king so that you are better off it. And if opponent does take, you can take. And then there comes a check. So the check, which makes the king a bit worried, uh, can be. I can go here as well. Doesn't matter. I think how bad it is. Opponent takes the knight. Knight is hanging for free. That is the problem. That's why the advantage to the opponent. Okay, but instead my opponent goes back with the bishop, and I take on the bishop with my knight. Opponent takes with the edge pawn, and then I try to attack the knight. And my opponent packs my bishop. A uh, couple of moves there. I took on the uh, knight first. And here, as I was saying, uh, that can be problematic if you are too greedy. Pawn, if you try to take on the free pawn, that's not a free pawn really. Uh, because that will trap up your bishop eventually. Yes, you can play this move, but um, the bishop isn't going anywhere. And rook here would, can also cause problems. Knight can be saved, can go back here as well. And oh, this pawn is hanging for free if the knight moves. That is the problem for black. Okay. Could have then played maybe. Okay, I went with knight d2, open last take. We exchange stuff. Took on the bishop too. Takes with the queen. And I cast on the queen side. So does my opponent. And I said it looks like a draw game. And pretty much close there. Point 0.2 in favor of white, very slight, point 0.3. Um, then I went with pawn ahead, and then my opponent plays rook h4. I went with the rook on h2, trying to double up so that even I am safe there. Open plays g5 there. Maybe it wasn't required. And then I went with f4, trying to break open the pawn structure. Then I have to double up because my opponent did. Uh, opponent gets his queen on g6. I take on the pawn. So does he with the queen. And then I get my queen on e2. Pawn forward. Uh, there by the operand, then queen f3 trying to attack the pawn, which he defends, and then sidestepping my king so that I can play pawn break as well if required. But opponent plays f5 himself, and I took opponent does take back, I sidestep, and this is the place where uh, opponent blundered. He was just into the mode that he has to attack my pawn extra with the rook, and even I was thinking that that he can attack the pawn. But I, in the process, I forgot that his rook is free. There's no defense to this rook, and I can take it. It took me a while to figure that out, and I finally did. Should have spotted that a lot earlier, though. But when you are in a frame of a game and not looking as a spectator, then things are different. If When you are inside the game playing it, then it's completely different. That's what happened in this game. So I spotted that a bit late. If I see that as a puzzle, I will just simply take it and... Uh, nail my opponent and then I try to hunt down the queen queen goes back I try to defend first and then my opponent plays pawn forward I try to exchange rooks off the board uh, I just then double up on the f file then took on the rook first he takes with the pawn and then queen goes down gets the right move to get the rook active and then oh that was mate in one I didn't spawn that but 
uh, still it's made in five, made in four. Yeah, uh, whatever my offering does, even this doesn't work. It's made in one, but I was planning to take on this first. He goes up and then again, it's made. Even if I take, he has to run and then for how long? Because once I take, there's only one space. Even pawn forward would checkmate the opponent. It's trapped. Uh, everything is closed for the opponent. So that was never going to happen. Uh, that the checkmate I was thinking that can be a good option for the opponent. But yeah, I was too close for mating my opponent there. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give a thumbs up to the video too. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.